When you're building React applications, you may often need to show or hide some HTML based on a certain condition. Luckily, conditional rendering in React works the same way conditions work in JavaScript. We have four different approaches and we will take a detailed look at each one of them. We have if else, element variables, ternary conditional operator and short circuit operator. Let's begin with the if else approach. I'm going to go back to VS Code and first I am going to create a new file called usergreeting.js. Within the file, I'm going to create a class component using the React snippet RCE and I will remove the named export. In the JSX, I will simply return welcome Vishwas. In the app component, I will include the user greeting component. Again, make sure to import it at the top. Now, if I save the files and take a look at the browser, you should be able to see the message, Welcome Vishwas. Let's go back to the user greeting component and make some changes. I'm going to begin by adding a constructor with the snippet rconst. Within the constructor, call super and then define the state. I'm going to create one state property called is logged in and initialize it to false. In the JSX, I'm going to add another message that says welcome guest. So first, let's add parentheses and an enclosing div tag. Move welcome Vishwas inside the div tag and also add another div tag that says welcome guest. Now what I want is the message to be conditionally rendered based on the is logged in state. If I am logged in, the message welcome Vishwas should be displayed. And if I am not logged in, the message welcome guest should be displayed. Let's see how to achieve that with the first approach that is using the if else condition. In the render method, let's add the if else condition. If this dot state dot is logged in, so if I am logged in, I need to render welcome Vishwas. So we're going to have return statement, a div tag, then welcome Vishwas. And the else condition, that is if it is not logged in, so else we are going to return parentheses div tag welcome guest. And of course, I'm going to comment out the return statement that we had before. If I now format the code, you can see the if else rendering. If this state is logged in, return welcome Vishwas, else return welcome guest. Now, if you take a look at the browser, you can see the message welcome guest is displayed. And that is because is logged in is set to false. If I now change it to true and take a look at the browser, you can see that the message welcome Vishwas is displayed. Now you might be thinking there's a lot of repetition and the render method looks crowded. Can we not simply use the if else condition on the message being displayed? The answer is no. If else statements don't work inside the JSX. That is because JSX is just syntactic sugar for function calls and object construction. Adding if else statements within the JSX is not valid. That is the reason we have if else statements outside the JSX and the entire return statement 
containing the JSX is placed inside the if or else block. Now a better approach is the second approach of using element variables. In this approach, you use JavaScript variables to store elements. This will also help you conditionally render the entire component or only a part of the component as well. Let's see how. I'm going to begin by commenting the if else blocks. Next, I'm going to declare a variable inside the render method. Let message. Next, we store the appropriate element in this variable based on the condition. So if this dot state dot is logged in, message is going to be equal to a div tag that contains the text welcome Vishwas. Else message is equal to a div tag that contains the text welcome guest. And finally, we return this message variable in the JSX. So return div tag and within curly braces, the variable message. If we now save the file and take a look at the browser, you can see that we have the same result. Welcome Vishwas is displayed. Change is logged in to false and the message welcome guest is displayed. So message is the variable which stores the element to be rendered and hence this is the element variable approach. Now although this approach looks much better, the third approach is even more simpler and this approach uses the ternary conditional operator. The benefit of this approach is that it can be used inside the JSX. So I'm going to comment out what we have done with the second approach. And now within the render method, I'm going to add the return statement. And within parentheses, we use the conditional operator. This dot state dot is logged in, question mark, a div tag that says welcome Vishwas, a colon, and then again a div tag which says welcome guest. Now how does this work? The first operator, this dot state dot is logged in, is evaluated to either true or false. If it is true, the second operator is returned. In our case, the div tag welcome Vishwas. If the first operator turns out to be false, then the third operator is returned. In our case, a div tag that says welcome guest. I've just formatted the code and you can see the conditional operator. If this dot state dot is logged in is set to true, welcome Vishwas is returned. If it is false, welcome guest is returned. Now we have is logged in set to false. So if I go back to the browser, you should be able to see the text welcome guest. I change it to true and you should be able to see welcome Vishwas. So this is the ternary conditional operator approach and is probably the approach you might want to follow most of the time. Keeps the code simple and readable. All right, the final approach is the short circuit operator approach. And this approach is just a specific case of this ternary operator approach that we have just learned. When you want to render either something or nothing, you make use of the short circuit operator. For example, right now we return either welcome Vishwas or welcome guest based on the is logged in value. Now let's say if the user is logged in, I want to display welcome Vishwas. And if the user is not logged in, I want to render nothing onto the screen. So based on is logged in, render either welcome Vishwas or nothing. To do that, we simply return this dot state dot is logged in 
ampersand ampersand div tag welcome vishwas so what happens here is the expression first evaluates the left hand side of the operator this dot state dot is logged in if it is true it also evaluates the right hand side which in our case is the jsx that will be rendered in the browser however if at all the left hand side evaluates to false the right hand side will never be evaluated as it doesn't affect the final value of the whole expression and make sure to add the return keyword at the beginning of this statement so return this dot state dot is logged in and welcome vishwas so if is logged in is set to true in the browser we should have welcome vishwas being displayed and if i change it to false nothing is rendered in the browser so these are the four approaches to conditionally render ui in react we have if else element variables conditional ternary operator and the short circuit operator for most of the cases i recommend you stick to either conditional operator or the short circuit operator they tend to be much more clean and readable all right in the next video let's take a look at rendering a list of elements in react thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one